Good morning, folks. I tell you what, uh, let's start off by saying it's been a weird spring, has it not? Throughout the country, throughout the United States, I read a lot of comments from uh, my brothers up north, okay, to people out west. Here we are in the south, and it's no different. Bad weather conditions. There's a lot of rain that's going to hit the Tennessee Valley uh, in the next four or five days. And right here is a bad system. It's come in on us. And uh, the other day, I went to Gunnersville Dam and I caught me some big skipjack heron so I could focus on catching big blue cat and possibly we might catch flatheads today. I don't know. But um, I'm going to apologize for the dark conditions right here. Um, but today I'm going to be fishing with sk skipjack herring, which to me and to uh, a lot of other folks seems to be, if not, or close to one of the best catfish baits you can use when you're targeting real big fish. Now... Where I've been catching some big fish, well, the wind direction has blowed the fish out. So I'm in a, an area here where maybe there's some big ones. I hope so. They should be. But I'm going to put out two rods and watch them with some big chunks of bait. I'm going to be using an 8 all Team Catfish Circle Hook. And I've got some big tackle right here. I'm fishing specifically for big catfish. Now, as far as the day is, I mean, it's overcast, rainy, just bad conditions. Really, it's good conditions when you talk about catching catfish. Just catfish in general of all sizes, but especially for the big boys, okay? Uh, they tend to roam around more for some reason. All right, here's her bait right here. That's a big piece of chunk bait. I've done cut these skipjack up. Not too pretty of a side, is it? But a blue cat loves fresh skipjack hair. And in the flathead, they do too, long as it's fresh. Now I have an eight alt circle hook here with a one sixteenth of an ounce bullet weight. Okay, this is a real rocky area. So uh, the skipjack herring right here is real dense. So it's going to sink real quick. I'm probably going to be throwing in about 12 to 15 foot of water right here on this spot. And uh, I'm using a hog seeker made by Zepco. It's a cheap rod, but I've caught a lot of big catfish on it. 30 pound test, trialing big game. And check this out. This is a vintage pin reel. It is old. It's got a picture of a tarp, and it's a saltwater reel designed for saltwater, uh, and it is tough. So I'm going to take this bait, and I'm going to lob it out there. Okay, far as I can. And I'm going to put slack in my line so the bait can fall somewhat straight down. Once it gets to the bottom... I'm going to loosen my drag right here off to where when I get a fit, when I get bit, uh, it won't take my reel and rod if I'm not looking because in big catfish, you'll lose rods like this. You got to really watch. Oh my goodness. Folks, that's got to be a big fish. Ain't no doubt about it. It's got to be. I'm going to follow this fish down the bank just a little bit. <laughs> That's got to be a big one. That's on a big piece of shad right here. Get that drag. My fish is moving out. I'm in a, I'm in a mess right here. It's got to be a big one. And we got the fish hooked. No doubt. Uh. 
That fish run way up the bank. Coming back to me. Woo. My arms is done hurting that much. I'm sorry about the... Yeah, I got a big one. That's got to be a blue... Blue cat. Whew. I couldn't catch up with him. Big blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm still in danger of kind of these rocks right here. They've lowered the water here on Gunnersville because of all this rain that's fixing to happen. <laughs> and the bites, it took me a long time to get this bite right here because they've lowered the water. <laughs> but some fish may be moving in. That fish is giving me a fit. They're so stout. This is sporty, sporty to me. Let me see if I can get this fish over here. It's a big fish. We'll weigh this one. I don't think he's as big as the one that I caught. <laughs> I'm stuttering while I'm talking. The other day, I got some 50 pound scales. I got to get that out from around his fin. I don't know. He may be heavier than what I think. That's a big fish right there, folks. Hey, 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 hey. I'm not going to let him pop that line if I can help it. He's a big one. <laughs> I work for him too. Okay. Come on in here, boy. Yeah, it's a big fish. <sighs> okay. Oh my goodness. Quit, quit, quit. Okay, that one is. Thirty-four, thirteen. He's not quite as big, quit, as the one I caught the other day, but he's a big one. Okay, let's let him go. We're gonna put him right there like that uh, and just watch him go. Woo. There he goes, or she. Goodbye. Thank you a lot. That was quite a battle. Saltwater pen. Done the job. Okay. Folks, I've given it about 30 minutes after I caught that big blue right there. I'm just going to move over here about 50 foot. And I've got me a, situated me a, a big branch. It's not really a log right here, so I can just move over. After about 30 minutes, I guess they call it the 15 minute row, but... You know, I'll give them a little bit more time. That's just uh, an opinion, but I'm going to move over just a little bit, refresh my baits, and get them back out there. Okay, let's move on over here and reel them in, and we'll refresh your bait. And I'll show you how I, I've got two pieces already cut laying right here on the rock so let's reel this one in right here and i'll show you how i hook skip jack and here we go now i've cross section cut these like y'all can see right here is the belly cavity and i'll take this circle hook and hook him right there in the belly like that. 
make sure there's no scales there at your point. If you do, it'll cause you to miss a fish. And that's how I do it. It's real thin right there in that area, and that gives you more hook exposure. Damn, buddy, me, Fisher! I told you it was a bad day to come out here and go fishing. Now I'm gonna have to go out yonder and get my rods. Look yonder. I gotta go down there and get them rods. It ain't gonna quit a raining. Oh, thunder and storm in here. Oh, wind and everything in here like yeah. I'm just gonna go out there and do it. We got a bite right here. It's on a shad head. Let's see what we got. There we go. There we go. I can't tell how big the fish is right now. I don't think he's real, real big. And he's giving it to me, though. <laughs> got my big rods out here today, folks. This is a good fish, but it's not as big as that last blue I caught. This could be a pretty good blue, though. Woo! Glad I got him. Glad I got him. <laughs> Let's get him on over here. That's a lot of fun right there. Let's turn him loose right there. See with that big shad head there that he bit? Just a big head. Let's let him go. That's a lot of fun. Whew. I thought he was bigger than that. But uh, we don't care. We'll take him. I, I'm enjoying this. No doubt. Got a bite. Got a bite. There he is. How big he is. I don't think he's very big, folks. It's a good catfish, though. It's coming to the top. There he is. That's a blue. Blues is bad about that. They'll come straight to the top. He ain't that big a fish. I'm just haul him on in here. But he's a good one. I about got that camera on a little bit late. He caught me off guard. <laughs> about like the other one, he's probably, nah, close to five pound probably. Good eating size. I like them circle hooks, whether they're small fish like this or uh, big ones, they'll normally get them right in the corner of the mouth there he is come here hey hey i'm gonna let you go that fish took off with it like a lightning bolt normally there you go i have time to turn my camera on uh so there'll be a little time in between but not that time Okay, that's a pretty fish. Beautiful little blue. Let's let him go right here. Let's see what he does. The water's starting to gradually come up. Hey. He's under that rock right there. Go on. Disoriented. There he goes. <laughs> a lot of fun. Yep. Woo! Well, that's about it this evening. Uh, I want to say this. I, I appreciate y'all watching all the great comments. I say it about every time, but I mean it. I really do. I really mean it. It's uh, it's thrilling to me to be able to be out here doing stuff like this. And you know what? Hey,
remember Y'all go fishing when you can Because it's good for you